Well, hopefully this isn't the dumbest thing we've ever done, but we are going to hit Hell's Gate. And just getting down into it is pretty crazy, let alone coming back out of it. The nervousness of this section driving up it is probably 50% trail and 50% having so much uh, so many people watching I think it also feels really sketchy in that we're pretty much the only vehicle that has gone up this that is driven on the street all the rest of these vehicles are mostly side by sides there is a buggy and then some extremely highly modified Jeeps <laughs> Yes, he's front and rear locked. Oh my gosh. Health gate in the That box. was, that was. Scary. It was actually not as scary driving as I thought it was gonna be. Partially because I kept on my line and I did have an extra spotter. We had yes. a guy we met that was willing to help spot us so Faith could do the camera. And he and did a great job. He's an amazing spotter. It was awesome. It yeah. was really nice. It was really surprising and a relief. I think my heart rate was quite high <laughs> going up that thing. But I, I, would, I just knew it could do it. It was just one of those things where it's hard when there's so many people watching yeah, you. Yeah, there's and about 30 people up top watching. There's yeah, a ton of rigs it was here. crazy, but it was fun. I'm glad we did it because we totally did no problem. And yeah. uh, now we know kind of push the limits of the truck a little bit more. I loved the comments. They were really funny. I stayed really quiet, but people kept saying, that truck's not going to make it. There's no way, no way. And Today we are taking on Hell's Revenge in our F-250. And this is one of the more difficult trails here in Moab. It'll be interesting to try it out because I haven't been on it and it's a full-size truck, which I have limited experience driving, much more with smaller rigs. So we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be pretty good. It doesn't look too crazy. Uh, be some good challenges. Uh, let's get rolling. Start of Hell's Revenge Trail is a steep mountain type climb. <laughs> On a ridge line. It's With kind a giant of hole over there. <laughs> interesting. I would say probably the first obstacle. We're trying the harder line. Not sure if we're gonna make it based on length. Um, but hey, Peter looks like he's doing okay. There's another shelf that is kind of hard to see from here. That he's gonna have to start going up. Our trail goes up and to the left. Woo, that looks sketchy, babe. Wheel in the air. You're doing it, you're doing great, babe. Ooh, you're clearing. I am worried if you don't start crawling. There you go. Woo. Nice work. Let's see down there coming up the ridge line it's kind of hard to see but is uh lion's back it used to be a trail and went all the way up to the top and over but uh it got closed down i guess there was some uh vehicles that went off and caused uh some injury or whatnot and they just decided not to reopen it um it was a pretty sketchy trailer because you had to go up and straight back down on it we are headed up this very exciting large rock and it is really steep Ooh, that's nice we didn't scrape our front end or back end, or our back end. <laughs> we did pretty good there was a decent sized uh, transition in the V <laughs> which I think it's exceedingly difficult to see the angle of these hills um, we weren't so sure I could walk up this one. It's that steep, which is why I'm riding in the truck. <laughs> 
Oh boy. I'm a big scaredy cat of hides, so this house very nerve wracking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Lots of butterflies in my tummy. Because it is intimidating from the bottom looking up and actually even driving it. It's just so steep. This section is not crazy. However, it's a bit off camber. And as you can see, it goes down to there, which is kind of unnerving. But the rock does have a ton of slick to it or um, sticky to it which makes it really, really nice. You're doing great, babe. I'm so tippy. <laughs> I love driving sideways. And that is, he's joking. He doesn't really appreciate being off camber. I think most off-roaders, that's the one thing that they really don't enjoy. This is a off camber and, ooh, the back end is going through that hole, babe. There you go. Whoa, that felt terrible. That looks terrible. I didn't really enjoy that. That might be a front bumper if you don't start climbing. You're gonna wanna, there you go. All right, that's better. You're gonna wanna turn a bit driver. Ooh. That was a skid plate. Ooh. That, you look clear for now. Ooh, hold, slow. Yeah. Come a little bit more passenger. There you go. Oh, this is really sketchy looking from here. Passenger, perfect. You're gonna drop and level out. Nice work. I'm trying to climb this wall straight up. Okay, are you gonna back up to take it straight on? No. Okay. There you go. You have nothing under front passenger. All right, let me watch some skids. You're good. Okay, front or rear is about to start driving, rising. You've got a hole. You're good, you're good. Nice work. You're good. You're about to touch the bottom. There you go. Careful with the back end coming off because we're gonna scrape if we're not. Woo! Nice of work! Woo! Yeah, keep driver. This section isn't crazy. That hill was a bit. It's a little slippery. It's gonna be more of a rocky section than anything else. You can turn into passenger. Oh, or you can come on the wider line, which I'm standing on. That works. Start turning passenger. There you go. Ooh. Thanks, you. Straighten it out. Perfect. Slow, because you're going to scrape the back end. Ooh, nice work. Okay, you're clear. That's the front end. This is a very small V-notch. Woo, babe. Woo, and I slipped. Apparently vehicles have traction, but not so much my feet. Okay, straighten it. Slow. More passenger. Woohoo! That was a very skinny rock. So you can see the fat donkey barely made it. Just kidding, it did just fine. <laughs> Mostly it's been these V notches that we're concerned about dragging through. Careful! You're gonna.
All right, the trail is straight in front of you. Perfect. Peter can't see anything when it's this in there. It's going to driver's side. Section is not crazy, although the path is rather narrow. We have been dodging um, pools, I think is what they call them. They're basically giant holes created by water um, that you don't really want to fall into. Um, it's a scary place to be on top of a hill. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this at all. All right, there's been a lot of scrape marks right here. Woo! And we made a few more. <laughs> Sad panda. That really bright white one, that was our receiver. <laughs> There's more fun on the climbing. It's so steep, all I see is sky. It's true, keep on straight. Cause then you can stay on the trail. <laughs> Start straightening that a little bit. There you go. Sorry if the camera went a little high side. I was a little distracted. Okay, slowly come down. There's a lot of scrapage here. I think we're gonna add to the beautiful marks. Yep. Very little though. Nice work. Woo, we did add a little bit of a mark. There you go, that lines up good. Straight up there. Perfect, babe. All right, we've got a whole bunch of side by sides behind us. So in a sec, we'll find a spot to pull off. All right. This is very steep coming off of this rock. Same as very steep climbing. You're gonna wanna stay driver, slowly come down. And then we're gonna have to position him at the end of this. Holy moly. I have to swing a little wide. How wide can I go? More wide? Oh man, this is so steep. It feels super sketchy. Right, so you come in past you a little bit? Very quietly. Oh man, <laughs> nothing but sky. Sorry, that was scary. I'm glad you were directing because I couldn't see anything. Okay, you're gonna... This is an incredibly steep hill. Oh man, nothing but sky. Sorry, that was scary. Okay, you're gonna need to go part driver because you're a little too far over on passenger side. Yep. <clears throat> that was a really sketchy hill. Yeah. All right, you're in a good line. You're gonna go straight down from here. We had our opportunity at the escalator and decided to bypass it. The big hole was full of water and we tried getting a Jeep up it and it was very problematic yeah, he's and then we had a winch in. And I can see where the line is supposed to be, but I also can see as soon as you don't get on that line, how poorly it goes. Yeah, he almost And over. decided, you know what, let's keep on holding. He's a great sport though. He stayed calm the entire time. Unless the spotters, I thought I'd be freaking out. Yeah, he that almost was, flipped over twice or three times. That was a pretty legit yeah. uh, thing. It was. Tip over challenge that's right after our last obstacle. <laughs> All right. You're in the line you want. That's going to bring the driver right up that section. Okay, perfect. You got it, babe. We totally dominated the tip over challenge. Yeah, we did. Totally walked up it. That was super epic. There are definitely quite a few rocks, as you can see. Can you see passenger side where the drop off is? You're doing okay. Uh, you're gonna need to go a little bit more passenger just to clear this rock. There you go. I thought we were done with this trail. I think both Peter and I thought we were done. 
Okay, I see which line you're going in. That's good. Stay straight there. Okay, you're gonna come down passenger. Whew. Start turning into passenger. There you go. That looked a little sketchy. I wasn't expecting that. I would have turned you into passenger just a second before that had I known we were gonna do that little bounce. All right, we are almost on the end of Hell's Revenge and it's been quite an eventful day. Um, we wanted to show you the beautiful valley behind us. As you can see, we're coming down into the city of Moab and it's just gorgeous. Um, it was actually kind of surprising. There's some rock obstacles here at the end and there's a little backup down here that I'm not sure what's going on, but the uh, side-by-siders are moving a little bit slower. They've been flying past us all day. It'll be interesting to see what has slowed them down. Probably some more rock obstacles. Straighten them out and come down. You're gonna need to turn a little bit more driver, honey. Just cause that's the angle you're coming down at. Perfect, that's where you wanna go. Now you can start going. You're doing great. Slow here so that we don't scrape. Oh. There you go, you're straightening it out. Whoop. I just don't want your back on that edge. Basically, if you're coming down right here, you need to crank driver. It's gonna feel tipster. Whoop, there you go. But I'm pretty sure we're on a guard. There you are. Yep. Come. All right, keep that line. You're gonna come down. There you go. There's a hole here and here. If you come straight down, you'll miss the bigger of the two. All right. Rocks, this is more of what we're used to. At least I'm used to. He's hearing about us. Well, Peter managed to avoid this gross puddle. I nearly fell in it. Ew. Rock garden. All right. This is quite a climb. Um, keep driver, honey, so that you don't fall in the hole that you're straddling. Perfect. That is a big hole underneath the truck. A lot of v notches in this place. Perfect. Woo, there's a hole on your passenger side that I didn't see. That was a little tipsy. Oh, stop. That's our diff. You want to back up just a sec? Aim a bit, driver. But well, there you go, you're gonna climb. Now you need to turn passenger. Hard passenger. That is the slight disadvantage of having such a long track. <laughs> is we have to watch our undercarriage. This little rock climb, and I don't mean to belittle it, it's actually quite large. But this is what we're used to. Peter was commenting that those really crazy steep slabs are a lot easier because they don't move. <laughs> I think if you come down right here, track passenger right there, you'll clear everything. Yeah, come straight forward. Since we hit the diff earlier, I'm trying to avoid hitting it in. You're gonna start coming down on the driver's side and then turn passenger in, or turn driver, I'm sorry. There you go, perfect. Straighten her out. Yay! That's how we avoid hitting things. Come down slow at the back end. That's perfect. That's a little bit of rocky fun. 
This one was pretty easy. We just went straight at it. And we crawled okay. There's a little bit more sand on this rock than we've had most of the day, but it's doing okay. Ooh, we're going around a corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a total blast and our Super Duty totally did awesome yeah. on that uh, Hell's Revenge. Uh -huh. It was really right in its ability to be challenged, but not so much to cause it to be damaged yes. or for it to be uh, unattainable. So it was a really nice level for it. Obviously this truck is really big and has a lot of overhang and a long wheelbase. So, you know, we have to be pretty selective on the trails we take it on yes. and make sure it's wide enough for this thing. But that was a real good time. And yeah, we I met some it. super great Jeepers. We did. We got some footage of their Jeeps too. Yeah, they're from Texas and uh, made the long journey up here. And that was great. It was just a nice time. I think uh, super rewarding to get up the uh, Hell's Gate. <laughs> yeah, especially because it was really funny because people were making comments about how they didn't think the truck would make it and then he just kind of walked up it. Yeah, it's one of those <laughs> that if you're going to make it, it's going to look really easy. Yeah. And if you're not, it's going to be very dramatic. And thank you, Luis, for being our spotter. That was amazing. Yeah, that was great because I was real hesitant about driving up it. I wanted Faith to film, but then didn't want her to have to try to film and spot, spot at the same time. And uh, it worked out really well. So super happy. That was a great day. It was super great to yeah. push the truck a bit and really use some of its capability that we have with the large tires and lift and lockers and all that fun stuff. And, and that was great. So we'll be looking forward to more adventures coming up. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're gonna load the camper. We're gonna hit up some more cool stuff. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, we'll catch you later. Bye. Normally we avoid campgrounds, but this was kind of a necessary thing being in Moab, but check out the view. Morning sunrise over the mountains. Man, pretty good for a campground type place.